Today we are going to be cleaning the intake valves on the N54. They are really, really dirty. They're gunked up. We have what's called CRC intake valve cleaner. And my buddy, customer, Ben over here, this is the owner of the car. Uh, he was interested in doing yeah. this. And when we removed the intake manifold, we found that it was really, really bad. So we want to do everything we can without walnut blasting because I don't have the experience to do it. Um, so I don't have the experience to teach you how to do it. Um, so we're going to end up doing an intake valve cleaner. Uh, we got this from AutoZone. It's about 10, 15 bucks a can. And you basically spray it in and you kind of dislodge it with, uh, with a soft brush um, or pipe cleaner or something like that uh, to get the, um, the, the shit off. <laughs> And, uh, and we'll just do one cylinder at a time. Uh, we still have the front end open, so it's really easy to turn the crank to open and close the valves. We want to keep the valves closed, we want to open the spark plugs, and we want to use a lot of compressed air. So let's see how we do it. So this is cylinder one. Actually, cylinder one, two, and three are not so bad. Um, it's compared to four, five, and six. Uh, one, two, and three are angels. Um, that's two. It's hard to focus on this uh, with the light. That's three, and let's do, let's just skip right over to five. You can see the difference. Look at that gunk up there. All right, really not good. Really, really bad. So we got to do what we can to at least at least minimize it and get a little bit of it a little bit of it out. Um, the more we take out, the better. It's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be a lot better than it was. So, so we want to remove the spark plugs to re so that we can blow air through the spark plugs and out. Um, we really want to make sure we have minimal residual gunk inside of the cylinder head, um, in, inside the combustion chamber, rather. And uh, so we have a special 14 millimeter. Uh, 12 point socket. It's a thin wall socket. It's a special tool. It's like five bucks. You can get it at a number of places if you just Google it. I'll put the link in the description down below of where we can get it, where you can get it really cheap. Um, but we want to remove the spark plugs and replace the spark plugs anyway. And we're going to use compressed air to blow all this crap out when we uh, when we dislodge it and use the uh, the intake valve cleaner to to kind of loosen all that up. See how much crap I already. <laughs> Easy with the scraping. I mean, you don't want to. It's, it's, it's aluminum, right? Yeah, but it's not going to hurt. This spark plug tool was actually pretty cool because it has like a rubber seal in it um, that kind of is used to hold the spark plug as you're putting it in and taking it out. I'll show you. So these are the spark plugs. Let's see if you can. It's hard to get a good view of it. So we got a 30. <laughs> we got a 32 millimeter uh, deep socket. We're going to use to crank the engine over and close the valves as we're doing each of the cylinders. Um, and it's really good to have a buddy doing this with you because then you could just crank and then and then he'll tell you when exactly to stop. So it'll be perfect. So this is that 32 millimeter deep socket, goes right into the crank. So let's get the timing set for the number two cylinder. Make sure that all the valves are closed. I've removed all the spark plugs so there's no compression so it should be super easy to turn. Okay. It's good to have a friend help you with this, that way they can tell you exactly when the valves are closed. If you have to do a couple rotations, to understand what a closed valve or open valve actually looks like, um, then do that first. It's good to have that, um, that reassurance. Two is opened. No, it's closed. Keep going a little more. All right, you're closed. Both of them? Yep. I'm gonna blow compressed air into the intake manifold and you know Ben is going to kind of catch it with the rag so it doesn't dust everywhere but yeah it is a, it is like a dust after you kind of dislodge a lot of the big stuff off three two one
Okay. All right, so Ben and I have constructed with a shop vac. We put a little fuel hose, 516 fuel hose on, duct tape it to the end of the vacuum, and we're going to end up getting some good vacuum. We're just going to stick the hose in there and vacuum everything out instead of compressed air because it's going to be a lot cleaner and safer for our lungs. <laughs> We did get a lot out, we're just a repetitive process of getting all the big gunk out, vacuum, big, get, it, get it out, vacuum, and then we'll use a CRC cleaner so that it's the, as effective as it possibly can be. Now we're going to do this, the cleaner. We've done like three iterations of the rough scrubbing um, and vacuuming out. We're now going to be doing the, the actual cleaner. Take a better look here. So the idea here is that after you spray and let it sit, remember the valves are closed, so the, the fluid should sit inside of there, and it should really bubble because it's designed to eat carbon. So it should really kind of boil, and you can see that a little bit there. All right? Look at that, huh? It's eating away at all the carbon, so it's kind of just sitting there, just boiling it away almost, or just chemically eating it out. Um, and... <clears throat> And uh, yeah, so then uh, that's when we uh, start vacuuming again. We just gotta let it sit for as long as we can. And these valves are actually gonna be in really good shape when we're done. And it's gonna be almost as if it were walnut blasted, but a lot easier and you don't need specialized tools. Okay, this is the first cylinder. Just trying to find a focus here. Um, I did scrape a little bit more off of that side there, so we do need to uh, do another coat of this uh, intake, intake cleaner. But uh, much, much better than it was before. I mean, it was a measurable difference. So let's do another coat. Then we'll vacuum it out and dry it out with some air. And then we'll take a final, final vote on it. Like on the edges, you know, the wall doesn't matter. It's just Not the, so much. It's more on the valves. The valve rides. Yeah. So we're doing a second coat of the intake cleaner. And it's bubbling up. Kind of stopped by now. And we're going to do another quick vacuum. And uh, an air blow, and then that should be that should be it for the first cylinder. Okay, cylinder one, basically done. It is way way better than it was before. That's for damn sure. Let's compare to cylinder two. Right? Look at how gunk that is. Go back to cylinder one, not bad at all. Pretty good. All right, me and Ben have talked, and the idea is that we want this to just be better than it was. We don't want it to be perfect. Well, we do, but it's not gonna be perfect. It's gonna be better than it was, and that's really the important thing. The amount of time that we put into this, right. and how much better it actually is, is the important factor here. So it's not going to be perfect, and you guys better deal with it. Um, we're doing both the intake valve cleaning, and I want to talk a little bit about soda blasting. We are actually going to be using a Harbor Freight soda blaster, and it's a kind of a two-man job because you need one person to, to stick the thing in the vacuum, and you need somebody else to actually operate the gun and move it around um, and then hold a rag over it to prevent the soda from getting everywhere. It kind of gets any, everywhere anyway. But um, it's kind of a good idea just to kind of like get four hands on the job. It's better uh, and more efficient that way. Um, so we are going to be doing soda blasting on number four, and I'll walk you through that process. So we're using an Eastwood Soda Media Blast. It's basically baking soda, but it's a media-type blast, so it is a bit salty. It's not toxic or harmful to you. We're using the Central Nomadic Gun. Nothing crazy, just a Harbor Freight special. And you stick the gun into one end. You stick the vacuum, which I've made a makeshift vacuum line here. Stick that in the other end, just like that. And then you use a rag over the whole thing, and you kind of do both simultaneously. Now, I can't do it um, because, actually, I'll just do a, I'll do a, a tripod. Alright, 
cylinder four. Let's see the results. Edit all this out. It's a little wet because we just did the the uh, the spray, but ultimately it's a lot better. It's a lot cleaner. I think that when we start the engine and run it, it'll burn off a lot of that stuff. It'll just burn right up, and uh, it'll be pretty clean. It's way better than it was. Like I said earlier, we're not looking for perfection. We're looking for better than it was, and with uh, the scraping and the soda blasting and the uh, intake cleaner, that's uh, this is probably. Um, with the amount of time that we're putting into this right now, it's probably about as good as it's going to get. So we're getting a little bit better at this soda blasting. We got an aluminum tube that I found <clears throat> in my spare stock, and it basically sits at the end of the nozzle, kind of squeezes on as a pressure fit, and that allows us to get the reach that we need in order to get to some of the cylinders in the back, like five and six. A little harder to get the gun down there. So this actually was good. We can aim it better. We can put the rag over it a little bit easier, um, and we can get some better control. So we're going to try continuing to do that. We're going to make it a repetitive process, which is basically, you know, spray, vacuum, check. Spray, vacuum, check, and do that over and over again until we get a, a you know, a result that we, we like. All right, vacuum on. So that's cylinder five. Ah, that's good. Right there. All right, pretty clean. Pretty clean. And that's cylinder six. That's good, very good. Right. So that just about does it here. Um, we've cleaned all the valves uh, on all six cylinders. Uh, it ended up turning out to be better than it was, but it's not perfect. Uh, definitely needs, um, you know, I think that just running the engine and just kind of, it'll just kind of blow and clean all that stuff out. But it's way better than it was, which is nice. So hopefully, Ben uh, will get a nice, clean, smooth idle um, and maybe a little bit more smooth power. Um, so that's about it for today, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. hope you liked it. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Uh, always read the comments. Appreciate that. And uh, anything you guys have, uh, constructive or not, let me know. I'd uh, love to hear back from you. Thanks a lot, guys. And talk to you later.